Yo, Snapchat, you ready for this? So this weather is ridiculous, I haven't been on a beach in two days, I think I'm having withdrawal symptoms. That was an intro from a podcast uh, me and a mate used to do a few years ago, so let's talk about hive minds. So the word hive mind is really just like a better way of saying collective intelligence. Um, you know, uh, multiple people together, working together, creates cre- greater intelligence than the individual. So myself and a good mate Tristan Grace used to do this podcast called Hive45, um, and we we're all massive on this idea of hive minds and hive AI. We think that AI is going to be built by humans becoming the neurons in the global brain. But I actually think hive minds can occur at the smallest level. I mean, just two people talking together is a hive mind. It's the smallest version of a hive mind. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to go back and watch these episodes and see if I can find some sound bites to show. Oh, holy shit! These are amazing. These are from 2010. <laughs> next bit is pretty interesting um this is like maybe a year after bitcoin's come out so no one really knows about it yet this is so this is pre-blockchain pre-ethereum pre the whole decentralization movement we're we're trying to you know push out the human species towards a b and ant model where there is literally no top-down order so i'm talking no government the bottom it'll be the the group the yeah the higher deciding here's where we should do that that. and then that's where let's go forward i mean it's very rough example is the economy at the moment like to ever actually achieve AI, mm. it's not going to be a small group of researchers no, or, or, a, no, no, or no. an individual company developing AI out of the box and, you know, blah, here you go, here you go. We, we're the AI. Yeah, we're, the hive think of, is the AI. Yeah, think of every single human on Earth as the neuron. If we yeah. connect all those neurons together more and more intimately to each other... You create that, be, the hive brain, you create the Earth brain. Which, will be, which will be bigger than us and yeah. far, far more intelligent and capable than us. And we just use computers. computers to help make our decisions and stuff, but we're can actually just work out such better intelligence yeah. with a large group of people. If you can actually put a filter on top of people and like their input into it, like all of these, like you use a general, anytime you submit anything into the hive, into the internet, into the cloud, you can actually filter it filter. In a, to the people who are best at yeah, best yeah, actually best reading, yeah. processing that information, yeah. put their own information yeah. back in and it continues the cycle. Like the intelligence you extract from that yeah. is incredible. So firstly, how surreal is that that I can watch a video of me in the past and past me is sending thoughts through space-time into my brain, into the future, and changing my brain right now. So clearly in all of that, we're talking about hive minds at the global scale, like all 7 billion people hooked up and kind of having a collective consciousness. But it can happen at a two-person level. So for example, in a two-person hive mind, like, you know, one-on-one conversation, it's super intimate and beautiful, um, partly because there's like a massive feedback loop and your brains are both sinking in some and the same occurs at like uh, different level groups as you go up. So say when you hang out with your friends or your workmates or your classmates, they're little hive minds that are forming between say like 10 brains or something like that. And it goes up a little bit further to like the online communities you hang out with. So which, whether you're on Reddit and which subreddits or whether you're on Facebook and which Facebook groups and interest groups you hang out with online. And so it kind of removes the intimacy and the beauty of it. But if you analyze it from the sense of like what's actually happening, it's the spread of memes and ideas and brains processing amongst each other. So right now, neurons are firing in my brain, I'm causing my mouth to, to flap up and down, to push this air out, which hits a speaker, which then gets turned into electrical signals and gets sent over the internet. There's quite a bit of a disconnect between here and here and here, this, this gap here, um, and then vice versa when it gets to you in reverse, but it's still like an intimate brain-to-brain connection. And it's a brain-to-brain connection that's almost like near telepathy already. I mean, those, those thoughts are being transmitted at the speed of light to you, and you could be on the other side of the world, I may have never met you before, and yet our brains are sinking. Like right now, your neural patterns are literally rewiring with these thoughts and ideas, um, but you'll take them in and process them in a different way. But then you might go and reshare those ideas to other people and the memes spread. 
so particularly with these new platforms like Snapchat, which didn't exist five years ago when we were doing these High 45 videos, they're, they're making this whole hive mind and this brain to brain connection way more beautiful and way more intimate. Like no longer are we just texts and comments on a page, but we're, we're faces and we're thoughts and we're movements and we're actual real people. And so we're causing dopamine releases in each other's brains as well. Kind of makes you wonder like, um, you know how we've all got smartphones now and they're less than a decade old and yet we're all fine with that. No one's like, oh my God, everyone has a smartphone. It's amazing. Wow. And they're kind of like magic wireless devices. I mean, it's pretty rare. The only time we ever have a direct like plugging connection to technology is usually through headphones. Because we're rapidly moving towards this idea of uh, a super collective consciousness where every brain is connected very intimately to every other brain on the entire planet. We all have smartphones and we can access anywhere in the world, although it's still a little hard to do, um, which is why it's always awesome when someone random sends you a message and you're like, yes, cool, let's chat. And then the next step is going to be wearables and then augmented reality uh, glasses, which always connect us. Um, which we're going to have hologram show up, then contact lenses, and then the crazy... I mean, the awesome thing would be that we inject nanobots into our neck. They go into our brain, they wrap every single neuron, and they're able to record and transmit the neural activity as well as pulse every single neuron when needed. And if everyone had that, I mean, a neuron could fire in my brain, a thought in my brain, and that could spread across the entire global consciousness of the hive mind. You know, global telepathy, global problem solving. We still feel like individuals and we still be able to control our own thoughts and stuff like that, but just collectively, you create this emergent phenomena of super collective artificial intelligence, the hive mind AI. Deep field photograph literally allows us to mainline the whole of time through the optic nerve.